Welcome, welcome, collective. Welcome to Gemini Lion Gate or 888. My name is Jenna. Welcome to my channel. This is a channel where I channel messages from your guys to my guys. When I say your guys, I mean angels, ascending masters, spirit animals, all that good stuff, okay? <laughs> this is a channel where I do smoke a lot, I do cuss a lot, and I do tarot cards, okay? I'm that tarot card reader, okay? Being the collective, my collective, I do expect you and do trust your intuition. So remember, these readings can be either past energy or past, present, or future energy. Place it where you need to place it. This can either be about you or someone indirectly involved with you, depending how much. Someone is in your energy. Okay. Um, I do cleanse my cards. Okay. I cleanse my energy. My throat chakra. That being said, these are general readings. Keep that in mind. Um, not every message is going to be your message. This might not even be your reading, okay? Um, only take what feels familiar, sounds familiar, situation and events are familiar to you. The rest, please discard, okay? Um, let's see here. I do ask Archangel Michael to review. Any eagle spirit, spirit, black magic, heavy projection. Lights and cinnamon. Hey, spirit. I'm ready for you. I always smoke during my readings. I don't know. Sometimes I even cleanse the smoke. Tobacco smoke, you know. What is this reading gonna be about? Let's roll the dice. Four four could be significant. Forty four. Let's see what the angel number forty four is. Let's see here. 44. Um, this is about your seventh house. Your seventh house is protected. You might be having a relationship. If you're already in a relationship, then um, that means that it's going to be protected. Right, this is already ready. Business, financial abundance, building for the future. Emphasize the need for spiritual development and building a solid foundation for your spiritual journey. You're going to have maybe a relationship that's going to come in on the spiritual journey that you're already on. Um, if you're new here, thank you. Subscribe to my channel. It does help the channel grow. And I do personal readings. Just email me at Gemini Lion Gate Port 888 and I'll give you more descriptions about the personal readings. That also being said, um, 
thank you guys for have been subscribing, have been viewing the channel, liking the channel, and leave comments. I love you guys. But the collective has been watching me. You guys have already, I feel like the collective that has the energy that I've been tapping into, you guys have been doing this already. It's like you're, you're working on your spirituality first and worrying about relationships after. Because number seven, life has number seven, um, really talks about people of faith. You might be getting with the life path number eight. Those are very ambitious people. Or a four and eight. Four and eight is really good. The red, something about, someone isn't protected though. Someone isn't. Um, their fourth house is not in the red. Or isn't that. Their fourth house is in the red. Look, four and four. I always feel like this is you and another person. Maybe someone can't go on with your spiritual journey. Because you got someone else coming in. Tell me who's gonna who's this fourth house in the red? A low vibrational Libra attached to an Aquarius. I'm gonna do this. Thank you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I am accepting reversals for the cardiology for the witch's ladder tarot cards or tarot witch's ladder tarot. Or Fortune, what are these called? Fortune telling cards. Which, which ladder fortune telling cards? I don't know, we'll see. Moon in reverse, and I have the, get up here. Eight. Someone can't walk away or they feel bad for walking away. Number 36 could be significant. The cat indicates flattering if near foretells a personal injury. If 29, um, 30, it denotes strife. The cat. A cat and a kitty. Someone with a moon in reverse. Uh, the moon always reminds me because it cycles phases. Someone was refusing to go through some type of phases with the eight of being in reverse as well like not wanting to walk away from a situation this person this person might have want to cause a personal injury in your life spiritual or physical this is a gentleman in reverse attached to an earth sign that needs to be earth that needs to be rational was too attached to a low vibrational water sign so Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. And reverse again. Ooh, yeah. The rappers warn as against assault, which threatened will occur sooner or later, according to the distance from the person. Someone could be 37, someone could be 36. Someone was trying to hurt you. This gentleman was. Um, this is why this person, not Mercury. This person could be, was doing something with communication, something with technology. Maybe this person was communicating with an earth sign and a water sign, or earth sign, wa earth sign and a water sign. We're communicating with each other about hurting you flames on the hearth indicate good fortune and neutralizes the evil of near lying unlucky cards increases the value of lucky ones seven of pentacles you reap what you sow boom someone could be 38 30 39 30 36 37 38 while well, you're moving forward whoever tried to hurt you physically hurt you i feel like they're yeah look 
this is the only part that came on the upright the the fire you have a fire inside you this is this neutralizes all the unlucky cards it's like god put you through these wormholes these tunnels these you you through you went through this whatever this was and you've been working very diligently very hard because you had people that were really working against you trying to hurt you the rapper the rap this isn't the ace of spades that talks about like um the truth someone didn't have the truth in the situation but in this witch tor tar tarot cards th there is someone that was very uh, very threatened and aggressive towards you watch there's this person could look like um I have the no. I don't know. This also means like they were in a cross, cross of fire. They wanted to put you in a cross of fire. This person was like, acts didn't couldn't walk away. Didn't want you to walk away so you could get hurt in something. This gentleman did. This is a masculine energy. Low vibrational water sign to an earth sign. I could be talking to an earth sign because that's on the upright. So here you are protected. Got acids. That is turned to the two. Here you are protected. One, two, Three, four, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Someone didn't have love for you. Venus in reverse. Very complex, very challenging with Neptune. This person is not authentic. They, they were not in the right direction. They were very in their ego. Because I could be talking to the Cancer. You have Cancer in your chart. Hi, you're on the upright here. I feel like this Earth sign and Water sign were trying to make this Cancer make your life difficult. But now I feel like this cancer wants to protect you. What they're blocking this cancer maybe to fall in love with you or to to in reverse star and ensure success in all enterprise when near when di very distant is some unlucky events. Now these people are going through some type of unlucky events. And this cancer, I feel like this earth sign and or especially that other water sign was very it's like wants protection wants this cancer's protection because look they were at the roads turned to the dark clouds for tells misadventures uh, but from the person the evil consequences may averted the ace of wands so this cancer might get away with something because this cancer is protected but he was definitely not loving or she wasn't or however um it could be uh the money safe indicates riches this person lost money job opportunity a new beginning because they weren't loyal they weren't loyal to you this person's not very loyal or now this cancer is switching gears and don't want to be loyal towards um this earth sign and other water sign see if the the knight of wands comes out or the knight of swords i feel like what's that song i could be your hero i know this is terrible enrique iglesias it's like someone because with neptune is telling me this person is, is seeing a bigger picture there's a shift there's a change because maybe they weren't loyal to you what just happened to the tarot cards, right away?
someone was at a crossroads when it came to you. I feel like this person regrets with the Eight of Cups in reverse. This person really regrets doing something to you. But I feel like now they're, they're without maybe you even knowing, it's like a situation could be coming up where this person could be helping you out secretly. I don't know if that's making sense. Let's see. Especially if your friend grows romantically interested in you. This person is very unhappy. Ooh, the Ten of Cups and the Sun. This person is very unhappy. Very unhappy right now with themselves. Because it's like a feeling of like, I should have walked away from the situation. This could be someone was your mentor. Someone that you're learning something from, you know, someone that you were trying to learn, um, your mentor, because here you are in the Page of Pentacles energy, you were a student, you were learning something, and this person really failed you because they were confused about the situation, again, Leo energy, they should have been, like, protecting you, I feel like with the dog in reverse, because the dog talks about loyalty, you know? What is this reading going to be about, Spirit? One, two, three, four, one, two, oh, hold on, let me shuffle. So the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, someone was just not committed because they didn't have the piece of the puzzle with the Ace of Swords in reverse. Someone was very confused about your wishes not coming true. Um, Nine of Cups in reverse, the sun in reverse again. Now they're under judgment because they're trying to be happy. And there's a Knight of Swords. Now this person wants to come in and be loyal. I told you. Because they feel defeated about a child, maybe, perhaps, about children involved. This person could be, children could be involved, doesn't have to be, in magician energy. Let's just see what happened in the recent past. And just last week. Knight of Swords, did I not tell you? To the Three of Pentacles. I told you. Told you. I was getting that energy. This person wants to go in and save you. And partner up with you. I told you that song came up in my head. Wanna be a hero. <laughs> you saw how I shuffled the cards. Listen. This person regrets walking away from a situation or they couldn't walk away from a situation. I feel like they're being manipulated or manipulate being there was a earth sign and a water sign that was really causing injury into your life, wanted to hurt you physically, emotionally, spiritually. And they were trying to get this cancer to get on board. But with the judgment card that came flying out, it's like now they're under judgment and now this person wants to go in and is going to work with someone, is working with, to save you. Working, communicating, talking, and, you know, making sure because they are going to go in and be loyal to you. The Knight of Swords, they're, 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 they change their mind quickly when it came to you. Now. Five of Pentacles energy. To the Queen of Wands, to the Nine of Wands. To the Tower in Reverse. To the Two of Pentacles. To the High Priestess. So, this person wants to go in, in the past, and really wanted to work with you. Um... 
this person, you and this person might, might have, even this cancer or whoever, uh, could have really got along. You could be a fire sign, doesn't have to be. Um, but here you are, the queen of wands as well. Um, this person was loyal to you, wanted to work with you, making sure you didn't go through a tower or is making sure someone did something impulsive as well in the past to make sure that you were left out in the cold. Everyone saw this, this, this five of pentacles, everyone saw that maybe someone um, ghosted you left you out you know you could have been going through a hard time you could have lost a job you could have been with you could have been injury you could have been you know out of work with a broken leg hurt needed help and someone made it someone could have been also went in and been loyal to someone else it's like they made a quick decision just to leave you out in the cold and outside influences, everyone knows, everyone saw this happen. I know what my daughter's doing. <laughs> to the Queen of Wands, the secret and obstacles is this Queen of Wands. Someone that is, you know, of the divine boss could be jealous, could be gaudy, could be, you know, but she's on the upright. So the blessing is that you overcame all this. You're resilient. You're you're resilient. You might have built, built a wall against these people. Is this Queen of Wands supposed to be like... Is this Queen of Wands supposed to be... What is my daughter doing? Is this Queen of Wands low vibrational? No, this is you. No, this is their challenges, huh? Is this Knight of Swords someone that wants to go in and save the collective now? Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to read this both ways. So in the past, okay, you had someone leave you on the cold, which everyone saw this, okay? Someone left you to go be loyal to someone else, but now someone else, okay, is trying to save you to get out of this pentacles energy. It's so, yeah, I'm reading it both ways because now, because someone else wanted to, in the, like I said, you got to read this. I'm reading this both ways, okay? It's like two different energies. Like, how can I explain this? Okay, so like say a year ago. Okay, someone left you out in the cold, you know, really down and out because they went to go be loyal to someone else. Okay, then maybe five months later after that, you have another night of sores, another sign. Of, someone is like, wait a minute, see that you're out in the cold, see that you were down and out. Okay, you'd be going maybe, you know, through a little bit of a loss. It's only temporary. But th now this individual, someone else wants to save you, want to go and partner up with you because a year ago, someone left you on the cold to go partner up with someone else does that make sense because they didn't want to something to end they didn't want to change now this person is making sure you don't go through a tower moment i hope this is making sense so like time wise right let's say this say about a year ago two girls you got left out in the cold about five six months ago there is another individual that is feeling very loyal to you like very this came even been like last week or last month that is feeling like they need to go and save you 
because they know you've been left out in the cold. They know someone did this to you. They know that someone ditched you to go be loyal to themselves or whoever. To someone, Actually, this could be a work relationship because the Three of Pentacles talks about work. Coworkers, working well, cooperation, teamwork. Because this person doesn't want you to go through this tower. Or maybe they don't want to go through this tower moment. Outside influences is that there are people that are refusing to go through this tower. And this is like a looming feeling. This is like, man, I. it's like someone is sitting out there like, Feeling like if whoever this person is goes partner up with you, it's going to be the end of the world. And the obstacles and challenges are, or the secrets are, you, here you are, this queen of wands. It's like, you're just confident. You're okay to be by yourself. You're confident that you'll get out of this five of pentacles. Like, this is who you are right here. You're very self-assured, you're a boss bitch, you get who you are, you're very authentic, you're very creative, you're very original, you have a divine connection connection with God, okay? And the obstacle is that someone can't juggle you no more. They can't juggle you anymore. It's like you got two past people back here. They can't juggle you because you know who you are. They can't juggle someone that um, is confident. It's like, because look, you're resilient and you're intuitive as well. God blessed you with the gift of being resilient and intuitive. This is why this person, the obstacles is too, with the Queen of Wands, you're, you're balancing out your life. Well, these people are sitting here like, I don't know why it bothers them that you're that you're doing that and why someone else wants to go in and partner up with you. I It's kind of weird. It's kind of a weird energy. It's like something that's like, okay, so what? The collective gets someone that wants to save them. Like, it's not the end of the world. But to someone, it's like literally the end of the world. It's like they don't want that. It's so weird. It's not even like... It's like they're being making a bigger deal out of it than what it is. You know what I'm trying to say? It's something so small and silly, but someone made it so big to a point where now they're not going to have to go through a tower moment that they're resisting to go through. And this is why this person's probably sick with the five pentacles to their stomach, like nervous, anxious, this feeling of, oh no, because here you are, the empress. And someone's like, please don't give your cup to love to the empress. This is so fucking weird. It's so fucking weird. What's this Knight of Swords energy? Knight of Swords energy. Yeah, someone left you out in the cold to go have too much fun in the sun. Okay? This person could have been partying. This person could have left you and a child out in the cold. To go be loyal to someone else? What's the sun to the Knight of Swords? Judgment. This person is under like the minute that they did not if they left if they abandoned a child this like a child this person is being judged. Cause this person it, it, oof. This is why someone else wants to go in and save you. Because they feel like you've been going through too much of a judgment. They don't. It's like, I don't know. It's like you have someone that it's not like feeling sorry for you. But it's like they know that an individual left you and a child. This is judgment. Page of Wands told you. This person is feeling innovated. This person is feeling inspired to do this. They might be, they might have something to do with someone leaving you out in the cold. And this is why this person wants to go and save you. Because they're, they're feeling like they're being judged by the divine as well. This is why the page of wands is here. This is why they're feeling very innovated to do this.
it's like that feeling where it's like, damn, your baby daddy or your husband or your boyfriend just left you like that. Don't worry, I'll go in and I'll save you type of feeling. Does that make sense? What's this five of pentacles? A thief. Someone left you out in the cold because they, they, they're, they're a thief. They scam, they lie, they, are, they cheat. Infidelity. They could have stole something from you. What's the seven of swords now? A message. Everyone knows that this person stole a message. A download. Mail. Emails with Mercury. Someone, everybody, it's like, because this is outside influence. Someone stole mail from you. And left you out in the cold. Left you out to be poor. Left you out, um to be suffering, traumatic, to the five of wands, fighting with you, fighting, a group of people fighting to steal a message from you. What? Someone left you on the coal to go be loyal with other people to fight to make sure they stole or did something fraud or deception with some type of mail or message. That's sick. But here, the obstacle is, is you're this queen of wands. You're too confident. It's like, it didn't bother you. It didn't like knock you off your square. It didn't, it didn't bother you at all. You're here. You are again, just very ambitious. You're going to start a new business, a new project. And these people are just in the background, just doing all this pointless fighting to the three of wands. Yeah, look, you're making plans. Obstacles is um, planning, looking forward into the future. The tower to the four of swords, putting something to rest. These people were, uh, the obstacle is, and the secret is that these people are planning to put you through this tower, which you're not going to go through because it's in reverse right here. These people wanted to end a lot of things to you and literally make sure that every, that ooh, put you in a coffin. They could have tried to curse you. The coffin, this always reminds me of like a curse. Because a coffin nail, I got a coffin nail one time in my house and it's like, that's what he's putting, a coffin nail in it. These people wanted to end you. That was your obstacles. But they couldn't because here you are on the upright as the Queen of Wands. That's their challenges. That's secretly someone was trying, they, they, they planned it to end you with a curse. To make sure you're at rest. But God blessed you with the, the resilient. Nine, you're this wounded soldier. The best quality in life a human being can have is being resilient. It's bouncing back from situation, which you, which look like, look like you did. Because maybe you did go through a tower. Well, no, the tower's in reverse right now. You're not going to go through a tower. These people try to put you through a tower, but you're not. Now they're going to go through a tower. Because here's this king of pentacles. Someone, a good father, someone that has money, a good businessman, sees... God is blessing you with a king of pentacles. A very practical man that has a treasure chest. Who's very resilient. What's this king of pentacles? Because you, this king of pentacles wants to defeat this bully. Because now look, the three of wands is reverse. And the four of wands in the reverse. Or four of swords in reverse. Yeah, look, God, these people wanted to, they are planning to put you to rest, curse you, to make sure that you are done. Compete with the tower. Done. No more. I don't know how far they were going to go. I don't know how far this ending would go over some type of message or some type of mail. Because they're trying to steal some type of downloads or something from you. But now God is blessing you, blessed you with this king of pentacles that's going to defeat these bullies because these plans backfired. 
like bad and now these people are feeling uneasy about it trying to curse you and shit i feel like this king of pentacles knows about it who's this king of pentacles let's see if he's the cancer cancer right there bottom of the deck with a leo you might have leo in your chart Trying to block some type of change. A low vibrational vertigo. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Mars. This King of Pentacles could be a Sagittarius or a Scorpio. That's blocking some type of war between you and a vertigo. You got three, even though I don't see it yet, because the Knight of Swords could be just someone that's very immature. So far, you have two masculine energies, but I really feel like there's three. So someone was very loyal about putting you out in the cold, but the challenge is, is that here you are, you're too confident for that. It's like you didn't give a shit about it. And your God bless you with the gift of being resilient. Now, since last week, you have someone that wants to go in, work with you, communicate, teamwork. Two of cups. Someone, a true child, someone wants to offer you two of cups. They want to offer you a cup of love. Look it. It's like you're hanging on to their heart. And this person's pouring a cup of love in your head. <laughs> They're all... Aww. This King of Pentacles is... God has given you a very good man, collective. And this person saw that you were left out in the cold by a dick that went to go be loyal with a group of people to fight for some type of... to steal some type of money message. It's, I don't know if it's a message about money, but it could be with the Five of Pentacles because they were trying to get out of the poorhouse. And everyone saw this, or it's being known now. And now, since last week, you have someone that wants to offer you a cup of love. They, this person is highly attracted, ooh, attracted to you. They might even want to work with you, start a business with you. This is a soulmate connection right here, collective. It's like you guys are going to be... This person it like wants to come in be loyal to you and want to have this type of a relationship where it's like, it's just you two and no one else. Like, I feel like this person dreams about it. I cannot make it up. Pisces energy. They want to have a new beginning with you. It's like a, like a, like a childish feeling. It's like a giddy feeling. You get this person, the butterflies. Is there a butterfly? Yeah, look, there's a butterfly right here. Transformation, you look at right there. You literally give this person butterflies. I don't know if you're with this person already, collective. If not, I mean, get, be prepared. Since last week, and this is God's not going to let you go through this tower. But these other people know this tower is going to them. And it's like, they got this feeling of like, oh shit, when is it going to come? When is this tower moment going to come? Because they were trying to end you. Ten of swords wanted to come out. A betrayal. Three of Pentacles. I cannot make it up. Everybody else knows this person wants to go in and work with you. What's this new beginning? What's this Two of Cups to the full? That is good energy right there. To the Three of Pentacles. And here you are, the Queen of Swords. You're the Queen of Swords. Okay, so not only you're confident, or the energy is, the obstacle is, is that they could not leave you out in the cold. They couldn't leave you out in the Five of Pentacles because you're too damn, you know who you are. You're just too confident. You're too, um, you're authentic. You're original. Does that make sense? They, it's like you can't, I really feel like you didn't give a shit. It might have hurt for a second because Five of Pentacles talks about a temporary loss, a temporary hurt, right? But you got over it. Look, you overcame it.
And now you're, because you went through that bullshit. Now here you are, the queen of swords. You speak the truth with elegancy. You, you're intuitive as well. Look, God bless you, the gift to be smart and intuitive. Okay? Um, you know, you'll call someone shit out. And this person wants to have a new beginning with you. I mean, three of pentacles, three of pentacles to the two of cups. This person wants to go in, this is, want to work with you. Because and this is why you're not gonna go through this tower moment. You're not gonna have to go through this ending. This is soulmate wants to have a new beginning with you. Again, because they you defeat it, and this person is gonna help you defeat uh this these bullies. Sag this can be a Sagittarius. This person wants to travel with you. This person wants to bring balance into your life. He thinks of you as this queen of swords, queen of uh, wands to the... To, this person like sees you as an earth angel. Very balanced, very harmony, very patient. They they feel like you give... Um, am I cutting the circulation off my finger? Sorry, I was like, why is it all blue? No, that's just ash. That was weird. Um... They see that you're very patient as well. It's like, you'll speak it when you need to, when you have to. They, this, whoever, whoever wants to work with you, they like this about you. They like it that you will speak the truth when you need to, but you're not like overbearing with it. Like you just, you'll, you'll fucking, you'll talk, you'll talk shit when you need to. You know what I mean? You'll tell someone off when you have to, but you're also in this earth angel energy where you're very, you might have Aztec, you might be an Aztec princess. Aztec warrior, no more locked doors. <laughs> I'm an Aztec warrior. <laughs> No more locked doors. Never mind. The obstacles is uh, now these people are trying to balance out their life. Well, here you are balanced out. I, I mean, if you have a, if you have not started a partnership here at Collective, you will be like soon. The seventh house out here is like you are going to be in a relationship, a soulmate connect. Someone wants to offer you the cup of love. And it makes these people feel so weird. They make it feel like, when's the collective going to get there with their soulmate? It's like they're waiting around for it. It's so weird. And they know that it's going to balance things out for you. And you have someone else obstacle that they can't juggle you because God gifted you the sight. With the queen of swords and the, the, the high priestess, it's like you will call someone. You're like, nah, motherfucker. I know what you're up to. Mm -mm, get the fuck out of my energy. What's this two of pentacles? The lovers. Oh my God. To the nine of cups. Your wish desire with love is coming true. And I don't know why it's this sense of these, these people are dreading it. I don't understand why. Do they know this king of pentacles? I don't know. I have no idea, Collective. I'm trying to figure this is like very strange energy because I'm trying to wonder. It's like they figure if they left you on the cold, you would go through a tower moment, you would end, and you wouldn't have no lovers. You wouldn't, but someone has their eye on you. Gemini energy. Leo, fire sign over here. Sagittarius with the temperance. Sagittarius and Gemini are brothers, sisters signs. They really, it's the challenges, the obstacles is, um, see how you're looking down here at the heart and the man's looking at the key. You guys are going to be working together to open each other's hearts. That's beautiful. This is your wish desire coming true. A wish coming true in the Nine of Cups. This person is going to be very charming. Very charming. They might come off as a playboy. Or um, this is like a person in your community that everyone wants to be with or some shit. Well, he's the King of Pentacles. He might have some type of money, some type of wealth, some type of business. 
and their obstacles is is so funny the secret is someone secretly loves you they adore you this is this is whoever this lover is that you are their wish desire collective it's like and for some reason this is causing a lot of struggle and I feel like not with just this past person that left you out in the cold, with some other people. I don't know. What's this lovers to the nine of cups? That's beautiful energy right there. With the two of pentacles, hell yeah, the moon. This person secretly loves you. Secretly loves you. <laughs> Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. They secretly love you right now. And I don't, that's the obstacle. Right now is this person is... wants to partner up with you because they know you're not going to go through this tower moment while people are like outside influences people are just waiting it's like a gloomy day for you to be with someone it's so weird i don't know why these come out in the readings like that and then the obstacles is is that someone is trying to find a balance in life because they you're there's the you are their desire they secretly love you. I don't know. I'm just saying that's a secret lover. You got a secret lover. Also, I'm seeing this as well, is you guys might keep it a secret. And that's a challenge for those people because you might not be telling people who you're going to be in love with because, you know, obviously this past experience, like you had someone just left you on the cold. Literally in the cold like in the winter time maybe homeless even to steal your mail to steal messages to steal your downloads to steal your energy but god chose you bj right there god chose you to be intuitive and strong here you are sitting up with your higher self. Three of swords. Cannot make it up. A breakup. God gifted you the sight to see what was going on with this breakup. Why this person left you. Why this person was trying to steal your mail. <laughs> your messages. To the, six, to the nine of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, because this person was sold. Okay, your past person got with another bitch. Okay? Or male, male, whoever. This person is sold your past person a dream. Said, come with me. This person could have even paid your past person to do this impulsive shit, to leave you on the cold, to steal some type of messages. Okay? And God gifted you the sight to see what the fuck was going on with this heartbreak, to see what was going on with this breakup. And you know who this person is, who this non-status woman is. This is a woman that was trying to become rich trying to um uh, spend money that's not theirs so a phony a fake overspends people's monies that like i said they spend money that's not even theirs to the tower god is making sure that you transform god's gonna put these people through a tower for stealing the, that your mail i don't know what the fuck the what was in the mail and I like, here you are. You don't care what was in the mail either. It's like, you just left it in God's hands. You're like, whatever. You could have saw even people like watching to see your mail. And there you are. In the high priestess energy. Knowing what's going on intuitively with your breakup at the time. Because you knew your past person was an idiot, being manipulated. Like, literally, someone could have been paying to fuck your past person, which is so sad. <laughs> it's so sad. And you left it in God's hands because you knew God would put them through this tower. It's so sad. Who, who has to pay for a dude to fuck them? Well, they say you probably were out get paid, getting paid for a set. Or, you know what I mean? Sad. Or that you, you know, that was your job or something like that. I don't know. When this bitch is literally 
have paying your dude, buying them clothes, buying them a car, buying them a motorcycle, saying, oh, come join my club or whatever. And you'll be this and that. And this bitch doesn't even have some, this bitch doesn't even have the pull that she says she does. <laughs> she doesn't, and your past person is not like sitting in a tower moment with this bitch like, fuck. Or he ended it with her. He broke up with her and you knew that was going to happen too. <laughs> what the fuck? Give me now. Yeah, I hang my now they're stuck. They threw obstacles in your way just to sabotage themselves. It's like they gotta watch you get into a new relationship, a soulmate connection, which you're not gonna tell anybody about. Cause it's very protect because you're protecting yourself. I told you. <laughs> These people didn't know you're protected. I told you, protection. You're protecting yourself. You're very guarded. You're defending yourself. And these people are stuck, wondering what to do. They they can't throw any more obstacles because you are protected from this tower moment. The secret, the, the, the outside influences, you also have whoever this king of pentacles is, they're protecting you. They're defending you. They're fighting for you right now as we speak. To the Nine of Swords in reverse. Because Harry, there he is right there. Your person left you on the cult. Being impulsive. Being egotistical. Thinking that they're right in the situation. That's the obstacle. Is that this motherfucker needs to get over thinking that they were right. Because they're not. To the Ten of Pentacles. Because they're losing. Um, God is making. The, whew, God is taking their divine birthright. Come on through. Come on through, Spirit. Yeah, look. So the blessing is, which this Ten of Pentacles is going, returning back to you. These people try to take some type of something from you. Money, inheritance, your divine birthright, whatever it was. That's that messages. That was the Seven of Swords to the Eight of Wands. They tried, that's what they were, Yeah. Thinking if they thinking if they left you on the cold, you'd be so heartbroken and distracted and not knowing what the fuck was going on. But now you have someone that's like, nah, someone's been defending you from the get-go. And now God, you knew God was gonna put them through this tower moment and you and now they're losing some type of inheritance. They're divine. and now if there's this if there was someone that was spiritual that had a gift from God, this God's like, no, no. I'm taking your gift away. You'll not have any blessings in the future. Your children, children will have blessings. Um, no. You're going to have to be sitting in that hangman energy. In reverse. God said no way. Because they cannot get over their pride. They cannot just go in and apologize to you. Say sorry. And God said fine. I'm going to give the collective to this spiritual knowledge to reach their higher self and this uh, resilient energy and I'm going to take away your ten of pentacles. That's their blessing. You left it in God's hands. Because we don't wish karma on people. We just know. You know, we walk by faith, not by sight here, people. Ten, oh my God, ten of pentacles again. These people are losing money. Damn. The hangman and the ten of pentacles. These people sacrifice an inheritance. They sacrifice their own divine birthrights. They just curse themselves. Taking major losses, stuck in this hangman energy. A queen of pentacles in reverse. This is a gold digger. This is, this is, knew it. This is that nine of pentacles in reverse. This is that person that spend money on your past person. And your past person is losing this inheritance because of this gold digger. This selfish, she's not a good mother. She's just doesn't want to work for her money. She didn't she thought she's going to have this life of inheritance, life of money, life of wealth and she just lost it. Lost it. Trying to trying to 
impulsively make sure you were just left out in the cold. Th that's what I'm saying. This is, and then this gloomy feeling of, oh my God, wait a minute. Collect is going to have another person come in and partner up with them? And maybe they're trying to go to that person? It's so weird. It's like, bitch, get a grip. They can't. This is why they sacrifice their damn selves. They sacrifice their divine birthright. Whoever this gold digging bitch is. To the five of cups. This bitch cannot get a grip. She doesn't even regret it. You know why? Because this isn't even her money. That's why. It's not even her money. So why should she care? But your past person is probably like, wah, wah, wah. Who's this Queen of Pentacles? One, two, three, four. An air sign? So a Vertigo, or a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini? One, two, three, four. Trying to bring destruction into life, but that's blocked. Pluto in reverse. One, two, three, four. A low vibrational Pisces? One, two, three, four. To a water sign. On the upright. Regardless, an air sign, Pisces, and a water sign. Clarifying a Pisces for sure with the fool's energy. Yeah, this person was trying. This person just hung themselves. <laughs> they just hung themselves. <laughs> for reals, they did. Not knowing you were protected or someone was going to defend you. People were going to defend you. Yeah, because I told you this bitch is a bitch. She's just spending money, overdoing. This is also a person that's very, um, thinks they're better than people. If this is like a work situation, this could have been a coworker that was like thinking that like they were better than you because they had money or they were just better than you. Now this person is oof, going through an ending. Death. They, because they wanted to sell someone a dream, they lied to someone about something, not realizing that this person was going to defend you, and they missed the opportunity to end you. They, the someone thought the grass was greener on the other side. It's not realizing secretly, like okay, outside influences. Sorry, my bad. Whoever this, this uh, gold digger is. She didn't realize you would be def people would defend you, uh, God would defend you, whatever outside influences would be uh, defending you right now, right now, and this is like outside influences. This is why they're going through endings, why they're going through endings, and this is why they're missing opportunities in life. Also, for a cup talks about some type of jealousy, jealous, bitter that you are protected. Their obstacles, though, is because they were trying to, they were trying to make you bitter with the Nine of Stars. They're they were making sure that people wouldn't be loyal to you, but because all up in their head, what's this Nine of Swords in reverse? Seven of Wands in reverse. Well, this person's not protected. The obstacle is is that no one's defending this bitch anymore. Nope, no more. Yeah, cause she's reaping karma. China, yeah, this person was like, this person could have stopped, like, your past person could was supposed to complete a cycle with you. Now the obstacles is, is that you have a new beginning here, and again, your wish desires are coming true while well, these people are stuck in karma. Uh, Vertigo, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo energy. Because no one's defending these people. They can't even defend themselves in the situation. That's obstacle. What's this Ten of Pentacles? Why does this Ten of Pentacles keep coming out? Now these people lost their divine birthright. These people thought they were going to live a happy life. Okay. They're like, now it's like, man, they're going to be. Oh. 
it's like at the end, like they're going to be working until they're 80 or if not working, it's like they're not going to have like you, the 10 of pentacles talks about when you're sitting there as an older person, you know, on the porch, you know, maybe smoking your joint. I don't know. <laughs> Drinking your because you're retired, right? You, it's like and you're watching your grandkids play in the yard because you just, you know, you have a house that just been paid off. You know, you have a. It's your home. It's the family home, right? The kids come home for Christmas and they, they celebrate there. And you know you're you're the glue of the family, and you and your husband are on your rocking chairs, and you're like, look, look what we made here. This is that that's wealth right there. These people won't have that. They won't have it. That's so sad. Because that's what we all want, right? That's what we all want to achieve is when we're old and we're sitting there with our soulmate. Because you're having a soulmate that's going to come in and be very committed to you. You know? And say, look, look, look at our kids. Look at our grandkids, you know, coming over for Easter and, you know, with the eggs. And, uh, you know, you're cooking dinner and you're just this old lady, this sweet old lady. You know, like I said, you're drinking margaritas, smoking your joint because you're 80 years old and you can fucking do that shit. And you're just like, you know, and your husband is, you know, playing. Uh, what is it called? Uh, I don't know what old people play. Uh I don't know. I'd be playing poker with my husband. That's what I'd be doing. Playing poker with the kids and my husband on the porch. Drinking iced tea and lemonade. That's the Ten of Pentacles. That's, that's, that's what God gives everyone. The opportunity to have that. And these people just wanted to do the most. They stole something. They got away with it too. Whatever mail or message that they stole from you, they got away with it. But now they're sitting waiting for this tower to happen because they know they're going to have to reap some type of judgment for it. Okay, well, you have because someone wanted to be loyal to someone that was fake. And now these people are stuck. They threw so many obstacles in their life that they lost that right to have that retirement, to have that happy fulfilling money you know like you got you're you know you're you're going and retiring in florida buying a, you know that type of ending these people lost it they're now they're stuck watching you not realizing like that you are defendant still refusing to get over their ego and again this is why god is like no ten of pentacles up here ten of pentacles down here and god's like you people don't want to learn your motherfucking lessons this is why the seven of wands, they can't even defend themselves anymore. And it's pissing them off because they know you're defending, you're protecting, and other people are defending you. And it pisses them off. Knowing that God gives you the sight. And, oh, here you are, child. The Empress. What else can I say? You work hard. You're confident. They couldn't, they couldn't give you that. Like, that five of pentacles could have sucked. You could have took a loss. Like I said, they could have stole some type of maybe inheritance in the mail. But God's like, no, 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 no. Even if they look like they might have overspend it, it looked like they already did spend it. God's like, nope. Mm -mm. You know what I'll do? I'm going to give you the, the, the gift of being resilient. And I'm going to send you a king of pentacles that has three or four times money of that. Whatever they stole from you, this King of Pentacles has way more money than whatever that whatever that was in the mail. God's like, okay, okay, you guys want to fuck with one of my, my temperance, my earth angels, one of my, my children that did nothing to do? You wanted to be impulsive and be loyal to a bitch that doesn't even have their own money, the buying shoes for you that they don't even have money to buy for you? Okay. Now I'm going to gift the collective, not only, not only I'm going to send them a king of pentacles that's going to come with some type of wealth or just a good father, someone that could bring them practically foundation, love them, commit to them, work with them. They're not going to go through that tower moment. No, God's like, no, 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 no. I'm also going to give them intuitive. I'm going to put them, make sure they are going to be their higher self to sit on their spiritual throne to intuitively know what the fuck is going on during this breakup. So then you can't do it to them. 
God gave you the sight, the third eye, said no. Oh, you can't, you people want to be up in your head still? Okay, how about that, that, that image that I gave you, this birthright, I give everyone the opportunity to have since birth, I'm taking it away from you. Now you're going to be maybe homeless on the street, crazy, using drugs, out of your damn mind, having, living in a box because you didn't want to stop your motherfucking bullshit. This is why they're stuck. They did too much. And God's like, okay, not only you're highly intuitive, here you go, Empress. All you have to do is sit there and I will bring everything to you because everything you touch grows. Everything you touch, you love, your compassion. You worked hard to get in this Empress energy. And now God is going to bless you in front of these people. And everyone knows that these people are not going to be victorious. They can't beat you. These people were very, very prideful. These people were very prideful. Now, this could be like separate situations, one situation, whatever it was. God's making sure that these people will not have a victory and everyone else knows it. Everyone else knows that you're protected while these people are taking losses. And the obstacle is this betrayal. An ending. This is an ending. These people wanted to betray you. These people wanted to steal from you. Now they have to go through life going through betrayals. Every, like, if this person was your soulmate, this person was supposed to give you this to, a cup of love. Your soulmate is, because considering they want to be loyal to whoever this uh, gold digger is, this person will always be betrayed by every person that they get with. Left for dead. Betrayals. You're, you're like, someone is going to have a very hard life. Not just seven years of bad luck. This is like life with ten pentacles in reverse. This is like till they die. Because they didn't want to stop. They didn't want to listen to the signs. They didn't want to listen to their intuition. This bully. Whoever was being a bully. Whoever thought, oh, I could win the battle. But guess what? Here you are, the Empress winning the motherfucking war. This bully is going down. Down for the count. Now, I don't know how many bullies are involved, but I feel bad for these people. And God, and you're going to be sitting there, collective, 80, 90 years old, lived a happy life, have a good retirement. You know, you and your honey are going to buy a boat, and you guys are going to go travel the world in your little RVs and you guys are going to be calling the kids and the grandkids and visiting grandkids around the state. God, you're good. You're good. Because these people didn't want to stop. Look how cunning this person is. They wanted to take away two swords from you. Laughing. Ha ha ha. Well, who's going to be laughing when they're 70 years old, struggling in life, still have to work because they were, they cursed them down south. Who's laughing now? These people thought this was a game. It's not a fucking game. God gave up everyone the right to have this. You lost it twice. Twice. Not only you lost it, God is like, this is the collector's blessing is for you to lose it. That's how much you didn't want to fucking just stop doing what you were doing over here. You this was if this was your soulmate, because if that two of cups was supposed to be someone that was supposed to give you that two of cups, that is sad. Because they sold they're a sellout. They were a motherfucking sellout. And now this person it will always be betrayed until the day they die. People will steal from them. People will do them wrong. Not that just karma. The world in reverse. That's this person's karma. Because God told them, listen, go make it right with the collective. Go in there and work with them. But they were like, nah. I don't want to end anything with this gold digger. Well, God's like, fine. That's your decision. Empress energy. Queen of Swords again. You're going to defend this throne that you're on. I told you, this is your ex-lover. Someone that um, chose another lover over you. 
which you already know. This person's gonna not ever be happy. They're not happy in the next 30 days, whatever you wanna say it. They could be breaking up finally with the person, but it's like a little too late, isn't it? Yeah, now they're gonna be indecisive, making a decision because they're unhappy. Because you called something out about a lover. But it's going to be too late. They can't have the Ten of Pentacles with you. Because again, you have someone out here that does want to be a little too. That does want to commit to you. That does want to give you their cup of love. And this person is like a little too late here, motherfucker. What's the Six of Wands? Because you're going to be getting a gift. There's a gift out there for you, collective. That the justice system does something very unfair about. This keeps coming out. The two, the nine of cups, the empress energy. There you are. You're going to have a new beginning because your wish desires are coming true, empress. While someone's finding their heart desire to you. You had a corrupt cop or someone in the justice system. Or someone of authority that did something with a gift. And this is being exposed in the next 30 days. <laughs> someone in the community. People also see you as a giver. They see you as um, someone that's gifted. But this is, I feel like, a gift. Like something that was supposed to... That, whatever, that, whatever they stole in the beginning, someone in the justice system knew about it. And this person is being exposed. Your past person can be connected to this person. Your ex-lover. And they're gonna, this is gonna stop. It's gonna end. The justice system doing unfairness with this gift is going to end. This is outside influences. Someone, the justice system did something unfair with a gift. And that's coming to an end. Which is going to bring you new beginnings. With the hangman, I'm telling you, it's going to be returned back to you. I don't know if these people are going to have to pay. Or if the state. Or the damn country. I don't know if a, a lawyer or someone in the justice system is going to have to repay you back. Because they, they did something in the justice. Someone that works in the justice system did something unfair. What's this ten of this betrayal? What is this? Yeah. So the obstacle is someone is, um, they can't overcome a betrayal and no one adores this person because they wanted to, um, page of swords. They're trying to defend an idea. They're trying to, they were trying to defend something, something really small from walking away. The obstacle was these people were really trying to stab you in the back to make sure people didn't look at you or adore you. This is a very bitter person. So look, again, look, they did something fraud. Look, so they had this, they were trying to defend their whatever they did. Look, that little piece of paper. Because they couldn't walk away from this, from this betrayals. It's like they're defending the betrayals. Oh, God. The obstacles is, is that they're really trying to justify this betrayal. Because they're bitter about it. They cannot walk away from being prideful. What's this bully? God's going to bless you a new beginning. Thanks to this bully. Damn, to the Ace of Wands, to the Ace of Pentacles. Damn, Collective, you're going to get a new beginning in wealth? Stability? A new job? All because of this bully? Someone that thought they were cunning, thought it was funny to fight when they just didn't... They thought, oh, I won the battle, but did they win the war? No. This is bringing you all kinds of new beginnings. Six of Cups? You have a past person? That's thinking about some type of mess. This bully 
is thinking about what they did in the past about a mess about someone committing to you or a message about money yeah and now this person can't get nothing off the ground well the page of pentacles in reverse well you have the ace of pentacles to the ace of wands you have a new beginning of wealth here it's gonna be the outcome So by the next 30 days, you're going to be victorious in something because here you are in this Empress energy. You're going to be, it's your time to relax. It's your time to shine. Because you get, someone walked away. Someone's walking away from, you're walking away because you make it, you're making a choice about a person, place, or thing. Because these people are under heavy judgment. They're very burdened by this in the future. While here you're manifesting like a motherfucker with someone with your man, a king of wands is manifesting you. And again, these people are stuck in karma, unhealed. These people are, okay, 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 okay. So you have not only a king of pentacles, you have someone, this is Sagittarius. This person has money. Anyways, not only this person is a good father or whatever, this person is also the king of... He's not yet an emperor, but he's the king of pentacles to the king of wands. He's almost there. He is your counterpart, okay? And this person, I'm telling you, has been manifesting you. You're going to walk away? Oh, no, you're making a decision about a king of wands. Yeah, you're making a decision about a king of wands because they're under judgment. Okay, you're making a decision. You're walking away from a decision because judgment's here. This king of wands is trying to manifest you, but they're very burdened and they're stuck not healing. So the outcome is you're walking away from a, de a decision. You're walking away from a choice or you're walking away after making a choice. Someone made a blind choice and they're walking away. What's this six of, what's this six of sword? Six of swords energy. Here you are, you're walking away because you're learning about something new. You're just, you learn something new in the situation. What's this two of swords? Because luck is on your side. You're making a decision, but you know luck is on your side. So even though if this decision feels like it's a hard decision, you know it's going to be the right choice for you because with the will of fortune. The will of fortune and the judgment, ooh, that's powerful. That's a powerful will of fortune. And judgment. You know judgment's gonna, like, there could be, like, a ruling. You get to walk away after learning something new. Well, there's some de decision being made, but luck is on your side. Like, this Wheel of Fortune is heavy with the judgment because someone's being judged. Like, the, ju uh, the ju okay, maybe a judge is making a decision and it's going to be going in your favor. The king of swords. Because you have someone, the law, or someone of authority that has their bird eye view on this king of wands. Or this king of wands. Maybe this is going to be an emperor. To the high priestess, they intuitively know there's a secret about this king of wands that you don't know about. Magician. They're trying to manifest that. This King of Wands low vibrational, high vibrational. This King of Wands high vibrational, low vibrational. This is King of Wands low vibrational. Yeah, I told you this is a very prideful individual, very egotistical. Okay. And this person is um. 
using trying to use their intuition to manifest that you don't get in a new relationship is this king of is this king of swords uh just energy is this king of swords the law yeah someone of authority is making a judgment call on this king of wands Because they know intuitively that you're trying to manifest a relationship that they don't want you to be in. Because this person is stuck in like some type of, uh, they're burdened by this. They're so burdened about you getting in a relationship. I don't know why. I don't know why they're like, why that burdens them. They don't want you to manifest a relationship, but they're already under judgment. So who cares? Yeah, they don't want you to have a two of cups. They, this burdens them to know that you're going to get in a new relationship with this two of cups. Whoever wanted to offer you this two of cups, it's like, oh, wow, this person is so weird. It's like, whoever this prideful individual was, this person that's under judgment, this is your ex-lover, I think, yeah. This person knows you're manifesting, and they're, they're really, they really, they know intuitively you're going to get this um, Ace of Cups to the, to the Two of Cups, and it makes them feel so burdened about it. It makes them feel very uneasy. It's giving them anxiety. Because they regret walking away from you. They regret this gold digger. They regret this gold digger because they know they're stuck with that individual. There could have been a contract between this individual and that King of Wands because they know they missed the opportunity. And it's like, dude, I'm telling you right now in the future, it's like, it's going to be too late. This person is it's like, they're under judgment now. So there's going to be some type of ruling. And I also feel like, because considering the ruling is going to be in your favor, Okay, they know intuitively you're this master manifester. So they're going to try to go in and make sure you don't get in the two cups that you do miss opportunity. And they're still going to be connected to this gold digger. What's this judgment again? For I told you for taking those messages for taking the message. They're under judgment, but now the law or the, yeah, they're being, so someone is going to save you. Nine of Wands is the Nine of Swords. Someone's going to go in and save you because they made this choice. Someone is very indecisive about being loyal to you. A few more and then we're going to end it because it's getting long. But someone's, Nine of Pentacles, but someone's still going to commit to you. There you are. Balance. I always think of the two of pentacles and balance and stable and happy. But this two of pentacles, there's two people in here. This reminds me of the two of cups. But this is like, I'm telling you right now, you got a soulmate that's coming in. Look at butterflies. Yin yin yang. Very happy. You're going to, like, the sun, this, sun, this is like, you're going to get your happy ending. You're going to be happy. You're going to be celebrating you and a child. You're very happy at the end. Once this judgment goes in your favor because luck is on your side, you're going to be very happy. And you also got a new beginning in, in a job opportunity or wealth. Anyways, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. I hope the readings help. Bye. <laughs> that was a long one.